Life Through a Biblical Perspective. Hi, Shalom sisters. It's me, Sister Yeskaya, and I'm just here to um, help you to understand how I first started to read the Bible. And I read it uh, several times in its entirety. Uh, the Bible is not a book that you can just read uh, once and know it. Okay? You have to read this thing over and over and over and over and over again. The more you read this Bible, the more you, uh, you understand it. And the more things the Most High will reveal to you. Now, one thing we have to know about this book here. This book is alive, okay? This book unfolds itself to you, okay? This, this book literally will reveal itself unto you. Uh, it, the, the Holy Spirit um, will, will walk with you, you see? And then once the Holy Spirit is able to trust you, then the Holy Spirit will begin to, uh, to tell you things, to help you to understand certain pieces of information. Okay? And um, I love, this is my favorite book in the whole wide world. Okay? Um, the scripture says we have to study to show ourselves approved unto God. And it says, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth. So the Holy Spirit will help you to divide the word of truth. In the book of Romans chapter 14, it says, we all have to be convinced in our own hearts. Okay, it says, let every man be convinced in his own heart. So each person is responsible, okay, for studying, and each person is responsible for gaining and understanding because the understanding is there to get and the book is there to read okay the information has been provided to us from the Most High and I don't care how many times they've uh, thought to change the word in the book of Matthew it says not one jot or tittle will by no means okay be uh, changed or taken out of the law until everything has come to um, to pass so no one in this world understands what the Most High gave to these prophets well enough to change uh, the good news Okay? No one. So whatever they change, whatever they put in, whatever they take out, it never changes the message. Okay? Because the message is hidden in the book. It's, it's hidden in our hearts. The kingdom of heaven is within you. Okay? And before we came here to this earth, the Most High, He wrote this book inside of us so no matter what they do to this book the words of this book that were written in our hearts aforehand will never ever be changed because these are these are our instructions okay Now, how do you read the Bible, you might ask? It's thousands of pages, right? So I'm just going to tell you like my mentor told me. She told me the first thing you do every single time you open up the Bible, okay? The first thing you do is pray. Pray that the Lord leads and guides you through this book. Pray to get an understanding of this book, okay? Pray that the Lord comes into your heart. Pray that the words of this book begin to 
occupy your mind and to occupy your heart and to take up residence in every fiber of your being. Okay, Pray for the Lord God to begin to reign in your soul. Pray to get through uh, the information in this book. So the first book I read was the book of Revelations. I just read the whole book of Revelations. If you don't understand something, just put it on the shelf. Okay, just put it up on the shelf and trust the Most High. He will help you to take it off the shelf once it's time to come off the shelf and to take a second look at it. Okay. After I read the book of Revelations, I read the Torah. Now, I read it all at once, once, all five books. Okay, so I read two chapters. Of Genesis, two chapters of Exodus, two chapters of Leviticus, two chapters of Numbers, two chapters of Deuteronomy. And then I did that every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. Okay. Some days I read four chapters of each book because once you begin to read this book, this book becomes alive. I mean, you begin to almost see the people in this book. You dream about the stories, okay? You will begin to literally see pictures in your mind as you're reading this book. This book is like, if you've ever seen the movie, The NeverEnding Story, it's, it's like The NeverEnding Story. It's literally unfolding as you read it. Just astounding. And I did that to all the books. Okay? So after you read the Torah, then you'll do the same thing as you go into the book of uh, Joshua and the book of Judges. And then you'll uh, read um, Ruth and then First and Second Samuel. You'll read two chapters of each, two chapters of each, two chapters of each. Then you'll read 2 Samuel, 1 and 2 Kings, 1 and 2 Chronicles, okay? And so on and so forth. And you just do that all the way throughout the Bible. I read the whole Bible in six months. Six months it took me to read this book. And I was hooked. I was hooked. I had to know what this book meant. I had to know what it was saying. So you know what I did after I read this book in six months? I couldn't wait to read it again. I opened this book from the very first page and I read this book all the way through from Genesis to Revelations the second time. All the way through. It took me six months. In one year, I read this book twice. Okay. And the second time around, I actually began to understand the Psalms and the Proverbs. Okay. I started to understand certain um, aspects of various stories that confounded me at the first. But Ruth said, put it on the shelf. Whatever you don't understand, just put it on the shelf. Okay, and that's what I did, and I just kept reading, and I just kept praying, and I just kept trusting in the Lord. As I read this Bible time and time again, the Holy Spirit spoke to me. The Holy Spirit spoke to my heart. Listen for the voice. Because the Most High, He speaks. Surely the one who gave us a tongue has a voice. Because He gave us a voice. And He speaks. And He gave us ears. And He hears. And He listens. Okay? He gave us eyes. And He also can see. And he gave us emotions, and he too has emotions. I mean, you gotta 
want to have a relationship with the Most High, you got to want to get to know Him. See, because the Holy Spirit, it says in the Apocrypha, the Holy Spirit will walk with us. And it says that the Holy Spirit will test us oftentimes to see when he can trust us. And then once the Holy Spirit sees that he can trust us, then that's when the Holy Spirit will begin to utter secrets into our ears. And the Bible begins to unfold itself. And you'll begin to understand and you'll begin to remember. All of the information will begin to come together and you'll start making connections in this book. You'll begin to connect this book with various events that have taken place and the Holy Spirit will open up your mind okay because you got to understand now before we meet the most high we're using just the smallest portion of our brains but once you start to seek the most high see because his ways are so much greater than our ways and his thoughts are so much higher than ours you see he has to bring us up to himself. So he'll open up various portions of our brains, okay? To where the, he'll begin to show us events and things that have taken place in our lives that will cause you to examine yourself, okay? He'll begin to show you yourself, it'll, the Bible becomes, it becomes like water, like a mirror to where as you're reading it, you are seeing yourself in the stories, in the pages, in the descriptions of the various characteristics of the people, okay? Because see, the whole purpose of reading the Bible is to begin to understand who we are and who we are in Christ. What is our purpose? Why did, why did we come here? Why were we sent to this earth? Why do we live? Because to be alive is a... Um, it's an amazing gift from the Most High. And He will open up various sections of our brains to where we will be able to relate to the pages of this book. Because remember, the book is a life that is so profound. Okay. After I read this book four times, because after I read it the first two times, I couldn't wait to read this book again. I mean, I was having such a good time with the Lord. I was reading at work, I was reading at home, I was reading before I went to bed, as soon as I woke up. I mean, I, I didn't want to do anything except read this book. I was so hungry and it was feeding me. It was like food. It was like food nourishment to my body. I was so thirsty and I was so parched. I was like, like I was drinking water, like I was drinking water. Hmm? 